I normally close twice, not any more than twice. And comb it out. Lift, one, two, and comb out. Lift, one, two, and comb out. Come in the back of the head, lift, one, two, comb out. Lift, one, two, comb out. I want to thin the top. This is very important for beginners. Don't dive in again with your tinning scissors. Lift the hair between your fingers. Comb, hold it with your thumb. One, two, and stop. And comb it out. Work your head down towards the fringe. There's not much hair in this, so I'm just going to do once. A lot of that now is common sense. You need to use common sense. I can only hold your hand so far. Here, there's not much in it, and it's going to do it once. You can see what's still over the comb or over the scissors. That's what's not cut. Comb it down. It needs a little bit here. Lift it once. Now, what this means is because I'm doing it like this, my hair now is that length underneath the tin and scissors, and that's not going to make anything stand up. Comb it out. Little, it's a little bit heavy there. Remember, it's common sense. Very, very, this is really important. I just want to show you this bit. When you lift here, look in the mirror and make sure you have fringe. And then tin it. Once. Because if you lift the fringe, I'm not going to do it now, but if you lift the fringe and go in with your tin and scissors, when you let it down, you can have a big lump out of your fringe. Now, Jamie's a little bit heavy there, so I'm just going to give that a little dot. And that's the correct way to use a tin and scissors. Let nobody tell you any different. So I'm going to go back to the left hand side of my haircut because we're nearly finished cutting now. I'm at the left hand side of my haircut now. <coughs> I'm going to put the tin and scissors back down. I'm going to pick up my cutting scissors.